Okay, so I wanted to do a video and explain to you about how we change vertical forces, commonly known as weighting and unweighting in the golf swing. So what does weighting and unweighting mean? So when we start off at address, we're stood still. So our vertical combined force, we read as 100%. That's your body weight. Now your body weight is mass times gravity. So that's what happens when you stand on your bathroom scales. And that's displayed on those scales as either kilograms or pounds. On the graph on the right hand side we've got the vertical combined force and we take that as 100% of your weight. So let's have a little look as we start to move through the backswing. So there's a slight decrease in my body weight to get the club back and we can see that here. Less than 1% to move, start to move the club. As we get to P2 we can see that there's a slight increase of body weight, the amount of push down into the ground, about 5-6% by the time I get to P2. As I go to P3 here, lead arm, you can start to now see that I'm actually decreasing my body weight and the amount of push into the ground. So we can see here now that the there is a big decrease in my body weight and the push into the ground here as I start to unweight. So I'm getting to the position here where I'm at the most unweighted position, which is around 67.7% of my body weight at around P4.25. So as I go into that transition there, and this is gonna be the point that we start to see the center of mass. That's gonna be the point where the center of mass is accelerating the most, okay? So this blue sphere up on the top right hand side in the force plate image here, as we start to see that graphic move, we're gonna see the center of mass, my center of mass move down towards the ground here as I start to lower my body and I start to get heavier. So if I get to the point where I'm the heaviest, which is 171% of my body weight, we can see the contributions from both feet that create this percentage. And it's 129% created by my lead foot. Look at the green arrow here, the force vector there from the lead foot, how high that green arrow is compared to my the right foot and the gray arrow, okay? So we've only got the right foot contributing to 42% of the overall push down my body weight into the ground at this point here. So the importance and critical left foot and how we use that lead foot in the downswing to drive that vertical force, combined vertical force vector up, and drive that red arrow up there. So as we play through the swing and go through into impact, you can see how my body weight now, my push into the ground, I'm beginning to unweight again at this point and I'm going down. So the change in direction of the center of mass as it starts to rise up and I start to unweight and I continue through impact. As you can see, I'm weighting slightly around 81% of my body weight and then begin to weight again. So all part of my kind of follow through, I fluctuate unweighting, re-weighting and then unweight again. So as my center of mass is just sort of climbing as I get into my finished position. And then I resume my normal body weight at that complete finished position. As I've explained in other videos, vertical force is one of the two forces that drives and creates frontal plane torque. Really good to see using the dual force plate system, the contributions from both feet, how they combine to give us this vertical force and how we then weight or unweight throughout the golf swing, our push down and the resultant push back from the ground, foot action and ground reaction 
forces in the golf swing. Thank you for watching the video. I really appreciate your support with the channel. Please like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos and click on the notifications icon so that when you log on to YouTube, you see my new videos when I release them. Thank you very much. You guys are great.